Hello out there to you. I get this question quite a bit about natural monopoly and different pricing schemes. So this is a model of a natural monopoly or a graph for natural monopoly. And we know this because when uh, marginal revenue is positive, which is sometimes called the relevant range uh, for the monopoly, average total cost is falling. So what causes that is that it gets cheaper to produce uh, the more that you produce, which is another way of saying that the, this single firm is experiencing economies of scale. So left alone, uh, this firm will just profit maximize. So what they'll do is they'll go to where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. So that'll be right here. And then they're going to price it all the way up here. Okay. And since this price, whatever that price is, something above 20 is higher then this spot on average total cost uh, curve, then we are making a profit. So then the firm is earning a profit. However, natural monopolies are often like a water company or a power company or something like that. And uh, they're often regulated by local uh, state governments uh, around the world. So um, in this question, it says uh, regulators want to use marginal cost pricing. So that is exactly what it says. Um, basically, that the firm is going to charge uh, $12 because that's the marginal cost. So we're going to just follow it over here. Okay, now the um, implications of this is that uh, now average total cost is higher than uh, our marginal cost. So we have a couple of things to decide. Uh, in this particular question, I want to label it with letter A. Uh, so that would just be like, just draw an A right there. Um, is this scheme allocatively efficient? So allocatively efficient means it's the best for society. And that happens when the marginal cost equals the marginal benefit or the marginal social benefit, which is essentially demand. So the answer is yes. Okay. However, the firm is losing $6 per unit. Okay. So it says compute the profit of the firm. Okay. So there's negative six. Okay. Because uh, it's going to cost them 18 to produce and they sell them for 12. So we're negative six on the, on the profit side. And then uh, we're going to multiply that by 14. So negative, oops, oops, oops stuck the calculator there. Um, okay, so 6 times 14. And so that's a loss of $84. So the firm, or sorry, the, yeah, the firm would have to get a subsidy from a local government or a national government of either uh, 84 because that would be the total amount of loss. So lump sum subsidy would get us to here. Or they could uh, offer $6 per unit. And $6 per unit would then just make the marginal cost equal to this. And then we would be uh, right there. So um, they, could, they could do that. Um, so those are different schemes. Okay, now there's also something called uh, the fair return price that I get asked about sometimes. So fair return price is going to happen over here on this graph uh, at the spot where average total cost equals demand. So when that happens, the firm is breaking even. Okay, so let's see where that is on our on our graph here. So average total cost, follow that down to here, and it's right about there. And so that's ten. So they would sell. Um, 10 units at $20 each, so that would be $200, and that would cost them $200, so the profit then would be zero in that case. So that's how to think about uh, a natural monopoly. I'll put this graphic back over here. So here's monopoly price, here's fair return price, and there's the socially optimal price with the loss being underneath.